All right, I'm on hole number six of the Silver State Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Hole number six. Hole number six is a uh, challenging hole for lower level clubs, but you can get this done. And I'm not a fan of the left-hand side. Even if you have lower developed clubs, you can get out here on the right and you can get it done. Especially when you get to tour four and you get a quarterback. And a quarterback is not an upper developed club or an upper level club. It's a tour four club, and you can get it to usable levels. I've got my quarterback to level six. Oh, you got a level six quarterback, man. Okay, I played eighteen hundred and eight hundred and eighteen games. Six hundred. I wrote it down. Six hundred and thirty-two, not including the nine that I just played. Six hundred and thirty-two of those games have been in tournaments, and I forfeit almost every. I mean, unless I actually went out there, I forfeit most of the time when I'm in tournaments. I got 470 wins. Okay, so I have 470 chests opened, and a bunch of that stuff has been in Tour 3 because I play 632 games have been in Tour 3. So I've only played, I played less than 200 games that weren't in Tour 3. I've got a level 6 quarterback, which is a Tour 4 club. So it does not take very long or very many Tour 4 games before you can get that up. The key is, is that you've got to make sure you open up chests. So if you're not open, like I can tell you other, you know, when I'm playing tour four in this account, every time I win, there's an empty slot. So I'm picking up another chest. It does not take very many chests to get a level six quarterback. That is not a high developed club. It takes very few games to get to that point. And you don't get any quarterbacks for winning or placing high in a tournament in a, in a rookie tournament. So it doesn't take very long to get those cards. And it's very close to getting to level 7. And at level 7, it picks up some topspin. And that's what we're, we're lacking right here. We're lacking some topspin and some curl. So at level 7, it really starts to shine. It starts to show its true, its true color. So I'm going to have to bring... I save these four balls, these kingmakers, just for this hole. Because I'm going to help myself out by having three side spin, and I'm going to help out the fact that I only have three top spin by bringing a bigger power ball. And I'm going to use a Viper. And that's all I should need. And you can get this same shot done with a Viper. It's just a little trickier. But it's still, you got to hit perfect if you're using a Viper. Perfect or a great to the right. And you can still get out to that area. It's not, it's not difficult to get out here. Max. Maximum side spin. Put on the three. Okay, so. I like to be three rings out. This club doesn't have tons of top spin. Or side spin. Or, you know, if I can get my mouth to work, curl. So I'm going to be two and a half rings out. I'm pushing the what I would consider pushing the limit. I'm going to take out 2.2 .2 rings. It's a 100% accurate club. It's one of the benefits of using a quarterback. Maximum curl. I hit it great to the right. And I left myself two and a half rings, and you can see how close I was there. So that's the... That's the minimum that I would go on a big curl shot. And if you've got a club that has lots and lots of curl in it, being three rings off is definitely definitely the way to go. And you can see where I ended up. If I'd hit that grate to the left, I would have just, just skirted that rough over on this side. So I could hit that one ring grate to the right, one ring grate to the left are perfect, and I'd end up out there in the fairway. Now because I don't have the top spin, and I only need like one more top spin where I could really get past those trees. But by bringing a three power ball, I was able to get on the right hand side of those trees so I don't have to hit through them. Now hopefully with my Viper and a three power ball, I have just enough to get up there and do the rough bump. Okay, there's my red line. I have just enough to get up there and do the rough bump. I'm going to put on just a titch of topspin. 
I mean just a little one I'm gonna go right at it okay it's 1.9 per ring so a 3 8 is a perfect two ring pull now I just need to hit it perfect hitting it great to the left as long as it doesn't clip that tree great to the left give myself a look at it now what made all that happen that kingmaker I took lower level clubs that didn't quite have what we're looking for that that quarterback doesn't have quite enough curl so I enhanced the curl on the quarterback by bringing a three side spin ball the quarterback doesn't have quite enough top spin to get me to where I'd really like to get where I can get right way past those trees and it picks me up a little bit more distance so I have a little more breathing room with my Viper so I brought a three power ball. So in this game, enhancing your clubs, a lot of people go, oh, they buy your clubs. I, I, you can buy club cards in this store, but let me tell you, you're not gonna buy 2,000 club cards for a common, and it's like three or 400 coins to, or gems to buy 10 rares when the rares pop in there. Only one time, like I've bought a, a couple couple uh, epics here and there when I originally started playing I went to tour 10 tour 10 at that time when the game originally came out tour 10 had a bunch of holes in it that if you had a Thor's hammer level 5 that was the driver to have you could you could do really well in tour 10 with a Thor's hammer and if you didn't have a Thor's hammer because that because the Thor's hammer has great stuff good backspin all kinds of good stuff I bought 12 cards for my my Thor's hammer to get it to level five and I asked around in the forum and I debated it and, and asked the question you know is it worth getting them right now based on how fast I'm getting them in tour play and the absolute consensus from everybody that was on the forum was yes it was worth it and that's the one time that I bought you know clubs to raise up an epic but you have to you can enhance your game by bringing out bigger balls but and, and that helps you win but you're not going to go out there and go, hey, I've been playing for a week and I've got a, I've got an Apocalypse Level 6 and I was able to buy it. That stuff's not going to happen. This isn't like a lot of other games where you can go in and you can spend 600 bucks the first day and all of a sudden you got the best set of clubs in the game. It's not going to happen. you got to grind it out. All right, that was hole number six of the Silver State Tournament in the opening round of the Rake Division. Thanks for watching.